Apple's October 2025 event is shaping up to be one of the most unusual yet intriguing product announcements in recent years. For over a decade, Apple has used its fall showcases to set the tone for the months ahead, usually putting the spotlight on the iPhone, MacBook Pro, or iPad lineup. But this time, leaks, rumors, and speculation suggest the company is preparing a lineup of changes that are equal parts exciting, confusing, and possibly frustrating for longtime fans. In this deep dive, we're going to unpack everything surrounding the upcoming Apple October event, explore the M5 chip at the center of it all, analyze how each product might evolve, and place all of it within the bigger picture of Apple's shifting strategy in 2025. The heart of the conversation revolves around the new M5 chip family. Since the debut of Apple Silicon in 2020, the company has pursued a unified vision of combining CPU, GPU, memory, and neural engines into one highly efficient system on a chip. That vision made Macs faster, cooler, and more battery-friendly than ever before. The M1 shocked the world, the M2 refined the formula, and the M3 and M4 pushed performance toward the high end. Now, the M5 is rumored to flip the story in an unexpected way. Instead of further integration, leaks suggest Apple may actually be separating CPU and GPU units again. This reversal has triggered heated debates across the tech community. On one hand, separating them could give professionals more flexibility, like upgrading the GPU alone to improve gaming or rendering performance without paying for a new CPU. On the other hand, skeptics worry it's just a way for Apple to double the cost, making users buy both upgrades separately. Regardless of the motive, it marks a notable departure from Apple's previous philosophy of integration. These M5 chips are expected to power nearly every major device in the Mac lineup, from the thin and light MacBook Air to the powerhouse Mac Pro. In the MacBook lineup, however, most rumors point toward a rather conservative design. The same wedge-inspired body, the same notch without Face ID, and no return of useful legacy ports like Ethernet on the charging brick. Apple seems determined to keep the design frozen in time, while only swapping in more powerful chips. This stagnation has frustrated many fans, who feel Apple is holding back major innovations in favor of tiny incremental changes. Yet, the addition of an optional modular GPU upgrade could spark interest among creatives and gamers, especially if Apple manages to bring console-level graphics performance to its laptops. The MacBook Pro with M5 might look identical to its predecessor, but the power inside could make it far more capable. While MacBooks might not wow anyone visually, the iPad Pro appears to be getting a slightly more noticeable redesign. After last year's slimmed-down body and OLED display introduction, the 2025 model isn't undergoing dramatic transformation, but Apple is said to be fine-tuning details. The bezels will reportedly shrink a fraction more, thin enough to be called, almost perceptible. More curious is the rumored rotation of the Apple logo by 90 degrees. The reason? More people are using the iPad Pro with keyboards in landscape mode, which hides the logo. By rotating it, Apple aligns the branding with the way people most often use the device. It's a subtle change that some will see as practical and others as unnecessary. But that's the Apple way, sometimes small details become headline features, even if they don't improve usability in meaningful ways. What will matter far more to users is the performance leap from the M5 chip and how it interacts with iPad OS 26. With deeper AI integration, smarter multitasking, and refined design elements, iPad OS could finally unlock more of the iPad Pro's potential for professional workflows. Perhaps the most polarizing announcement expected at the October event is the new Mac Pro. The last Mac Pro, with its cheese grater inspired chassis, was both loved and mocked for its bold design. Now, Apple is rumored to replace it with something even more dramatic, perhaps resembling a giant will rather than a box. Critics joke that Apple is literally reinventing the wheel, but behind the humor lies a real question, what is the Mac Pro's role in Apple's lineup? Few professionals actually buy it, given the price, yet Apple continues to use it as a Halo product to showcase its most extreme hardware. This year, that means the Mac Pro with the M5 Ultra chip. 
Reports suggest Apple is abandoning the ultra-fusion technology that previously allowed two chips to be combined, raising concerns that performance scaling may be more limited. Still, the M5 Ultra is likely to be one of the most powerful processors Apple has ever made, and if the company nails thermal design, it could deliver workstation-level performance in an all-new form factor. Whether people actually need or want that much power is another question. For most, the Mac Pro remains more of a symbol than a practical purchase. Meanwhile, the HomePod family may finally be making a comeback. After years of neglect, Apple is rumored to bring updates to both the standard HomePod and the HomePod Mini. The big HomePod may finally gain a display, something competitors like Amazon and Google have already integrated into their smart speakers. This could make it more versatile for tasks like showing timers, displaying album art, or even supporting widgets. A HomePod Mini 2 is also on the table, though it's unclear what meaningful changes it will bring. Many casual observers even forgot the Mini still existed, a sign of just how little attention Apple has given the product line. With the M5 chip making its way into the ecosystem, even smart speakers might benefit from improved intelligence, especially if Siri continues to evolve with AI-driven features. The October 2025 event is more than just a list of products. It's a window into how Apple is balancing its design legacy, profit motives, and future ambitions. By splitting chips, tweaking designs in subtle ways, and resurrecting forgotten product lines, Apple is showing both its strengths and contradictions. Fans looking for revolutionary leaps may walk away disappointed. But those who appreciate steady evolution, coupled with small but sometimes meaningful refinements, will likely find reasons to be impressed. With the iPad Pro positioned as the productivity device of the future, the Mac Pro standing as an ultra-powerful status symbol, and the HomePod line poised for revival, Apple is betting that diversity across its ecosystem will keep users locked in. The only real certainty is that the October 2025 event will generate debate, humor, and excitement, as Apple once again takes the stage to show its vision for the future of personal technology.